Hey guys and welcome to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Now today I'm going to be going over even more details that you might not have noticed in the latest trailers. If you guys are excited to check this one out be sure to leave a like, I would appreciate that very much. So first of all, in this gif, we can see that the cherry blossoms, the blossoms that appear in spring and April, are actually floating down the river. This is such a cool little detail, this is actually my favourite season in the games, so I'm really happy to see them do this. In this screenshot we can see Tammy is shouting, Ga, but what you might not have noticed is that her text box actually flares up. It sort of gyrates and shakes around a bit. When previous games this didn't happen, the text box would just stay static, so it's something very small, but it's nice to see them update this. Of course they also changed the actual little name bubble so that it matches the colours of the villagers too. Now in this observation by Blueberry Cake on Tumblr, you can see that there are different mouth shapes. At least different mouth shapes than the ones we used to in previous games anyway. So it seems like you might be able to change your mouth shape, maybe like you can do with Mii's, maybe you can sort of stretch it out a bit or lift it up a bit or put it down, whatever you would like to do. It would be nice to see more customization like this. In this screenshot by Petal Meadows Crossing, we can see all the different reefs. There are some really cool ones here and it looks like you're about to put them on doors yourself. Not just your own door, but villager doors as well. There's a really cool snowflake one and a fossil one. So I'm excited to see all the options there will be. And here by Mayor Brewster, we get to see all the different flowers. Of course, in the top right corner, we can see the new types of flowers, but we also get to see roses, pansies, and tulips as well. And of course, in the top left corner, we get to see hybrid flowers, the pink roses. Now you might remember from one of my previous videos, I showed that Dodo Airlines can be different colours. Well with a bit of sneaky sleuthing, we actually discovered that there is another colour. Here is a teal Dodo Airlines. Now what is really interesting about this screenshot is that the dock appears much closer to the beach than it does in these screenshots. If you look, there are some big rocks that are blocking it off. I'm not sure if this is a change that they've made, or if it will just depend on what town layout you've got, we will have to see. In this gif a lot a lot of different things are going on, but one really cool thing I noticed is that if you look, when it's windy, the blossoms in the tree actually move individually. It's so small but it's so neat. Now you guys might remember this giant mushroom and all of us were wondering what is it, what could this possibly be? Is it something that appears outdoors or is it a furniture? We still don't know that yet, but we know what type of mushroom it is. It's Shimeji Mushrooms, and thank you to Zoe Fan who commented this on my last video. Now this is a really, really small one. I don't know how someone actually noticed this. I'm so glad they did. Um, thanks to the person on Reddit who noticed this. If you notice, there are actually rocks in the river. There are actually rocks in the river. It might just be up by the beach, but I have a feeling that we'll see lots of different cool things at the bottom of the uh, river. Yes, this is a really tiny little detail that I don't know how someone actually noticed, but I'm so happy that they did. Now, I made a video on this previously, but you can see here that the trees actually appear really close to the river's edge. We've also seen them appear really close to the mountain edge as well, well, the cliff edge. So it seems like you'll be able to put them really close to things, which is good, because this is a stupid limit in New Leaf. Um, something that they definitely shouldn't have limited, so I'm happy they've taken that away and allowed us to put trees wherever we want. Hopefully this will apply to other things as well. In this screenshot, you can see that the watering can is placed on the ground, and you might think to yourself, what's special about that? Well, here's the thing, in previous games when you'd put a watering can or a tool on the ground, it would appear flat, just like a flat 2D object. Well here, it's like a fully 3D item. Um, it's not just an ugly flat item on the ground, it's like a proper furniture-y looking type thing. And also in this screenshot, we can see that you can place a mug on the bench. This is something you couldn't do previously, you could only put them on tables. So finally by Boob Hats, really amazing name, <laughs> you can see that there are different types of dresses. We've got a fairly short skirt type one here, and then we've got a really long sort of flowy one. It's nice to see them add different things like this. I know that clothing is really important to players. The dress also will sort of blow in the breeze, which is really, really cool. And I'm hoping to see lots and lots of different clothing options for the different characters 
it'd be great to see some facial options as well. Maybe you could add your own freckles or a beard or something. I doubt that you're going to be able to add a beard because these characters are literal children. But, you know, progress. Progress has definitely been made and I'm happy to see it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and of course subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. I'll be doing so many videos on this game and of course all things Animal Crossing. I really appreciate all your support, you've all been lovely, thank you so much. I'm really happy to hit 500 subscribers, yay, thank you for that. And of course check out the Animal Crossing New Horizons community in the video description. Catch you in the next video.